A seven year old boxer pit bull mix Van Gogh was rescued from a dog fighting ring and one with one bloody ear. Okay, so it's just such a devastating story. And the fact that people still use pit bulls to do these fights disgusts me. But nonetheless, Van Gogh shares one similarity with his namesake, the painter, of course. And his rescue mom used that skill to change his life forever. Okay, so what happened? Jessica Gardner, founder of Happily Forever, forever, get it? Uh-huh. Rescue found Van Gogh scrolling through pictures of shelters or shelter pups that obviously need homes. He'd had an absolutely horrific life and yet he looked happy. And I was told he got along well with people. His ear had to be surgically removed, but Van Gogh was resilient even after he even after all he'd been through, I had to rescue him. Mm-hmm. Not a single application came in, she said, explaining that he was staying with various foster families. I couldn't believe it, he was the cutest dog ever. But then she had an idea to change Van Gogh's life. Like I don't get I don't get people who can be cruel to animals. I don't get it. I don't get it. And it, like anyway. All right. So uh, she had an idea and it ended up working. She's like, why don't we get Van Gogh to paint? <laughs> <laughs> why not? So I'd seen TikTok videos of other dogs creating paintings. So why not Van Gogh? He currently had the uh, the name and the ear for it. So she dropped small globs of bright paint on an eight inch by 10 inch canvas, sealed it in plastic wrap and coated it or coated the top with a layer of peanut butter. And so the peanut butter will get the dogs to do anything. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I gotta see this. I, I specifically didn't look and see the paintings. So Van Gogh took to his assignment with the gusto of a true peanut butter loving artist. Okay, he was a fast and creative. He has a fast and creative tongue. That's it what takes, she said. I know, I know. <laughs> I was like resisting the urge, John. But you a, went there. I don't know. I, that's is about dogs. This is not about me being a pervert. Continue. He has a fast and creative tongue. <laughs> that thing you do with your tongue. New Twitter bi- Twitter bio confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> it takes more time for us to get the canvas ready for him than it does for Van Gogh to lick off the peanut butter and smear the paint around. So you get how how she did it, right? Yeah, so yeah. like there's a thin plastic sheet covering the paint with peanut butter on yeah, top. I'm going to try it myself later. Um, okay. I like peanut butter. Uh look at him. Oh, he's clothed. He's so cute, little buddy. Oh, he's artistic. So He's in his blue period. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So there he is in action. It's super sweet. And we do have some stills of his artwork, which, to be quite honest with you, it's really nice. Let so, me see. Yeah, let's take a look. Whoa. That's super nice, right? I would hang those in my place. I like it. Um, and guess what? Uh, so, and here's the, pa- uh, the proud painter with his super cute Aww. face and. He's so adorable. Did okay. a good job considering he's colorblind. So it was still going to be a while till Van Gogh. Dogs would, are. Wait, say that again. I, I missed Dogs that. Dogs are colorblind. Oh yeah, they are partly colorblind. But he's still artistic. He is. He is. Um, so it's still going to be a while, right? Um, till Van Gogh could find his forever family. We did the art over a week. Then I invited people to come and meet him at an outdoor art gallery event. This is so creative and smart. I had sparkling cider and pastries, you're a winner. I would be there in a heartbeat. And I even set up little stands for the paintings. She was disappointed when only two people showed up at the event on October 23rd. But she didn't give up, which is great. And she you know, tried to improve his life, change his life, find owners for him. I put out a post on Facebook that I felt bad only two people showed up and I said the rest of the art was still available. Suddenly everyone wanted it. The painting sold out in two minutes, she said, collecting about $1,000 for her animal rescue. Damn. Van Gogh continued to paint and raised $2,000 for his other fur friends at the rescue. Jeez. Quite the artist. And on the last day of the painting auction, he was adopted. So let's, let's go to the picture. The person who adopted Van Gogh is one of Gardner's foster volunteers, Jessica. And the adoption was made official on the last day of the auction on November 21st. I like that part. 
Okay. He didn't get to keep the money though. I feel like this is yet more exploitation. John. From capitalists who've <laughs> taken the creative energy from this dog John. in exchange for a little bit of peanut butter. No benefits, just peanut butter. And now they have the money. And he has a home, a know. loving home. Oh yeah, you're right. No, if you have a roof over your head, then you should that should be enough. You should never expect more. I if a capitalist gives you a little bit of peanut butter and I'm a roof over your head, mm. you should allow yourself to be exploited. Mm. Oh, he's cute. I bet he can do good paintings. He's super I'm cute. I'm kidding. It's no, adorable. Oh my god, John. Why don't we do this with our dogs? I'm already going to, obviously, as soon as I get home, if I have the peanut butter for it. Oh my god, so I'm hundred percent gonna do that. And then next Wednesday, we should compare puppy drawings or paintings. Yes. <laughs> I love it. And then we should auction them off for a charity. <gasps> That's a really good Unless idea. Unless it's really good and then I keep it. Okay, but if it's not, members, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let, us, let us know what you guys think. I'm really If curious. anyone would be remotely interested in yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, I think we should definitely still do the, the paintings Either and way. the comparisons next Wednesday. I wanna do that. Okay, that's gonna be fun, I love that. Um, and here's what uh, Van Gogh's new foster mom says about him. As soon as I saw him, I knew he'd be a foster fail. He was romping around and licking everyone, wait, a foster fail. I think they mean that he was really like energetic maybe. Oh, I see, I see. Or maybe a foster fail is when you take in a dog just to foster and then it turns out, oh no, I wanna keep it. Maybe ah, that's what it maybe, is. Maybe, maybe, but she says my whole family fell in love with him. Yeah. And I love that. I'm so oh, happy that he found adorable. a girl. Look oh, at, we, he is cute. By the way, the first picture, the one on the left hand side, uh, we did blur it out, but yeah. you see how blood, it's like There's so blood. heartbreaking. Yeah. I can't believe that people are cruel enough and vicious enough to do this to animals, but it's the world it. we live in, unfortunately. Luckily, we have good people to counter the bad people. Yeah. Um, and so I love this story, it has a feel good ending. Yeah. It's a good thing. Oh, I love it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.